Hello all, welcome back for more survival serial, Serious Lee's here, and we are going to continue on today in our new galaxy that we got to, uh, well, yesterday, I guess, by video standards. It's still the same day for me. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, it doesn't like me coming up this balcony, uh, other, either via the stairs or via jetpack. I've seen some other people have some issues with that too. I wonder if that's something new. I believe this was an A-class. Now, do we want to go looking for stuff? I want to go do something on the anomaly. It doesn't matter what galaxy we're in for that, and I guess neither does hunting for multi-tools. Let's take a peek. What do we got here in our discoveries menu? We have five planets to check. You know, that's going to take at least 30 minutes. We're probably going to do that maybe some other time. <laughs> Let's go to the anomaly first, and we'll see how long that stuff takes. That could take a full 30 minutes as well. I thought it might be fast, because I did a little bit of prep work ahead of time. Turns out I had tons of Herox, so I have lots of silver. We are going to use silver today, and we are going to use magnetized ferrite for modifying the metallic hatchling unit, which is the egg you get from the anomaly for having completed Expedition 5. So let's call in the anomaly. And fly over there. Woo! We have to go all the way around because we, we were already right side up. <laughs> I'll try spinning. It's a good trick. Okay. So, the other thing we are going to need. I have three statistics in mind that I would like to modify this egg for. Uh, none of them happen to be size or color or uh, genetic modification based. It's all personality traits. Three separate ones that I would like to modify. Top out of the ship. The other thing we are going to need is, and I think I'm carrying some, 10 storm crystals. If I recall correctly, that will give us 10 tries to modify the thing. I don't know. It's 10 100 percent. It would be 10 100 percent. <sighs> yeah, you know what? Let's give it a try. I don't know if that's going to be enough. We might have to find something else to do that statistic. So before we get into it, we're going to look at our companions. We're going to make sure we have room uh, on the save for another companion. Oh yeah, we have two open slots. We only have the companions we have gotten from other expeditions and such. Yeah, this is Expedition 4. And this is num from number 3, I think. Right? Okay. Anyway, let's unlock that one uh, after we go over the things that I would like to modify. This here is a perfect example of one that I didn't modify ahead of time. We just got the egg from the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion down here. Johnny Five, as he's known, because he looks like Johnny Five from the Short Circuit movies, with the little chef's hat. So you would go into Expedition Rewards, and you would look for one that looks like an egg, or it'll show the pet. This is the one. And where are the ones that we just went over? Sandworm Egg, there's Expedition Four, and Expedition Three. Does it say what expedition it's from? It does not. It just gives you a nice description. Anyway, not too important at this point. We've got those ones. We didn't modify them. We just hatched them. Just got them into the pet companion register. We could have been doing some uh, modifying of their trust. Because if you uh, summon them each day and feed them and pet them until they're happy and fed, it goes up by 5% each day 24 hour window so we're going to do that after we summon our other pet in but first we're going to modify these three as i was saying both of these <clears throat> are playful aggressive and independent i don't like those traits in my pets no matter what they are i definitely don't want them to be aggressive because i don't want them to attack stuff that i just want them to maybe scan you know don't go attacking random creatures that's bad so i want to get that bred out I want to get playfulness bred out. I'd like them to be helpful. That's the opposite trait for playfulness, is helpfulness. Uh, and uh, what's that? I can't remember what the opposite. We're going to find out, but I would like them, the independence to go down <laughs> and them to be more 
Ah, what's the... Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. Let's see which one is which. We only have the one egg to modify, which is great. We don't have to pick them from a list or figure anything out. So we could do stuff here for growth hormone, but I can't... I, it's, it's never... It says inherited. It's never worked for me, no matter what I put in here. I have not yet tried to modify the growth of the hatchling that we're going to be able to get from this companion, uh, I think, 24 hours after we hatch it. Uh, because this one hatches full grown. Uh, again, I don't care about anatomy. I, I haven't been able to modify color of this. I have tried that, so let's not even bother. All three of the things we want to modify are going to be modifiable here. So silver should give us 100% dose of independence decreasing. We want to do that one. That's cool. And it doesn't take the full stack. Uh, 138. We are not going to get two full stacks per full. We're on survival here. We got a 250 stack cap on what we can even put into the neural calibrator. This is not normal mode. So on normal mode, uh, this magnetized ferrite that we put in here, it's one of the best things I've found on permadeath and survival. Gives an 80% dose, but that's because we're capped at 250. I think it's 333 or something like that you put in on normal mode and it gives you 100% dose. Uh, but here, helpfulness increasing. So we want to do that. <clears throat> and let's put that away and double check what the storm crystals give us. This is gonna say independence down. Oh, aggression down. Uh, aggression decreasing. Okay, that's what we want to see. Uh, high capacity, sure. So, what did silver do? It just says independence decreasing. Okay. I guess we can start with silver. We've got lots of silver. Let's do it. we got to do all of the modifications here until it says inherited. Until it stops saying decreasing or increasing. And, uh, yeah. That's how many times you got to do it for. So we have lots of silver to go through today. We have lots of magnetized ferrite, but we only have 10 storm crystals. I'm a little bit worried about that one. <clears throat> I know we have enough magnetized ferrite. Uh, we can always make, we saw we have more Herox. We can make more silver. Oh, here's another thing. We can't, 81% dose. Let's put that back in the exosuit to make it a full stack with the one we had there. Now we'll get the full dose for 138. Begin. Uh, I like to do all of these in a row. We could just put the magnetized ferrite in because it's next in our, our stack here, but we have some in the high capacity. We'll just scroll down to it until we're done with silver. I do not want to put this in there. Let's see, can I fit it in high capacity? I can. I cannot. Okay. Uh, high capacity silver is here. We've got lots. Oh, there we go. And when it kicks us out here, what we can do is move this to high capacity now that we have room. So now it's all in the high capacity. We're still going to have to do some silver moving around because uh, the stacks aren't even. If it was asking us for, for 112, that'd be great. <laughs> but we need... Uh, I think I went too far. I think this is from the Starship. Doesn't matter where we get it from, to be honest. Silver is the silver. Ah, uh, you know, I didn't try using gold. <clears throat> usually, usually these work better. Let's see, let's see. Where do I have platinum in a quantity near 100? Uh, silver, silver, silver. Because gold, silver, and platinum often give the same results and stuff. I only have 33 platinum there, huh? What does 125 gold do? Devotion. Oh, okay. And we only need 73 for that? Ooh, interesting. I should have been focusing on gold. Whoopsie doodle. <laughs> well, uh, there you go. Lesson learned. You don't need to use silver, but I had so much already. I only turned two uh, Herox into silver. So I made 500. So we're going to use the silver, but you can use gold and probably even less platinum. They're part of the same, I guess, family of minerals for modifying your pets. You don't have to do it the way I am doing it. This is just to give you a heads up on how it works and what you want to do. 
uh, to get the specific modifications I am doing. There are going to be alternate elements if you want the opposite direction of travel. If you want to make your pet more aggressive, if you want to make your pet more aloof, you can definitely do that. Uh, 135, that's not enough. Let's put that in high capacity again. No, oh, okay, that's all we had. Okay, start the new stack. Oh, I wasn't even watching. Is this a day? Are we wasting time? I hope not. Let's find out. Silver, one more time. Well, maybe. No, nope, still says devotion increasing, same as gold did. <clears throat> I have not been keeping count. If we've had to do this more than 10 times, we're going to be in trouble when we hit the storm crystal part. <laughs> Uh, more silver. Let's try that. Devotion increasing still. So this means uh, devotion and aloofness. Uh, how far they will wander away from you when uh, they're around. I want to keep them close by. I want to be able to talk to them to give them food or pets as needed. I do not want them to wander off past the horizon. Although they will because we're modifying helpfulness up as well. And helpfulness will make them uh, find something and go grab it for you. So they will wander off from time to time. But not just because they are, you know, curious. Inherited. Okay. We're done. We're done with the silver. That's perfect that in the high capacity. We're going to switch over to the magnetized ferrite. Again, we only get 80% per dose here, but I haven't found anything else in the same family of minerals that give the boost we're looking for uh, with more than 80 on permadeath or survival. I haven't tried everything in the game, but uh, my regular permadeath save has quite a few things available to it, and I couldn't find anything. Pure ferrite gives even less, and ferrite dust gives less than that. I think paraffinium even though that can be turned into ferrite, does not count as part of the same family, and it does a different thing. We're modifying helpfulness right now, by the way. Because we're doing 80% doses, we're probably going to have to do more overall, even though we were already in the helpful category with this thing, like just borderline. Uh, the first thing we put in said helpfulness increasing instead of... I can't remember what the other one was. Oh. Maybe that's aloofness? I can't remember what the opposite of helpful is. Okay, still says increasing. So, we'll keep going. Increasing, okay. Uh, and aggression is the last one we want to do. Now, if we run out with storm crystals, what we're going to do is find some other mineral. We'll just get that aggression bred out right away. We want them to be a non-aggressive sentinel. Of, oh, inherited. Good. We're done already. Perfect. High capacity. Let's go to the storm crystals. 100% dose for one. That's perfect. So aggression decreasing. But we have a long way to go, because we are far into the aggression category with this uh, specific pet. Sort of like the horrifying uh, monstrosity pet. What we might do, after this dose here, is move those stone crystals from high capacity to regular inventory. And put them even further up in the list, actually. There we go. See, right at the beginning. <laughs> That's a little bit faster. We don't have to scroll at all. Save a bit of time. That's why all of my magnetized ferrite was there. I knew we were going to need to use it. 
Uh, you can use lots of stuff. Uh, Herox and Lenrium themselves work for stuff. You can use other components like uh, Geodesite and Iridesite. Those work very well. One gives 100% dose of whatever they do. Gentleness increasing. So instead of aggression, it's gentleness. There's the opposite of that one. That's good to know that we're already into the gentleness category with, I think, only half of our storm crystals used. Yeah. Okay, we might get there. Fingers crossed. I hope to see an inherited. But if we use all of our storm crystals, we're still going to try. Actually, no, if we use all of our storm crystals and we don't have anything else, hmm, if everything says inherited. Increasing. Okay. It's going to be hard to figure it out. Increasing. Uh oh, running out of chances. We might have to just go farm some more storm crystals. Which is going to be hard because we just got ourselves to a new lush galaxy. <sighs> we'll go to uh, a blue star or something. We'll have an activated Indian planet to go to. Increasing. We got one more try after this. So, another thing we can do is use our saves. Inherited. Perfect. We've got one storm crystal left over, and we've got our helpfulness maxed out. Uh, sorry, aggression reduced to... What would it say? Anyway. <laughs> High capacity. Put it in our extra suit. We are done. Uh, if we were unsure, if we had used our last storm crystal and we weren't sure if we needed more... We'd go to the ship, make an autosave, hatch the pet, and check its stats like we're about to do anyway. Let's give some planetary data here for some free nanites. Uh, and if you weren't done yet, you just reload your autosave and you go get the minerals you need to continue increasing your stats. Transmit milestone data. I'll take some nanites from you too. Thank you, Ares. What are we at? Something really low, right? 680 nanites, and 380 of them we just got. Yikes. Well, we have to do some farming of nanites. We might do that next time on Survival. So, save made. Let's hatch our pet and take a look at the stats. There we go, we have a sentinel called Apec, 48V, 23X, W14. Uh, yeah, I think I might shorten that a little bit. All right, let's talk to him. We'll give him a pat, and we'll give him a couple of iron batteries. I don't think one's gonna cut it. Yeah, he is not full yet. There's another iron battery for you. Okay, let's take a peek. And uh, again, you can do that when you call your pet in. If you're reloading the game, you're gonna get those iron batteries and stuff back anyway, so. Uh, creatures, companion register, here's our new guy, perfect, that's what I like to see, 100% loyal with devotion, 100% gentle, that's a word I couldn't remember just now, come on brain, I just rewarded you today for remembering stuff, now you forget stuff, <laughs> and 100% dutiful for helpfulness, that's perfect, especially the helpfulness one, I really like to see that, the other two, depends what you're looking for, I can imagine wanting an aggressive pet, we're going to leave this guy as an aggressive pet, because just look at that. That should be an aggressive pet. I might shrink him down, though. I don't like him that big. <laughs> so, now, if we talk to our pet here, again, can do... Wow, we need more attention already. All right, well, here's your attention. <laughs> our other option, we cannot ride in the anomaly, but we're already of riding size here, so we can ride this pet. Uh, this pet can't put accessories on. I'm a little bit disappointed with that. There was an accessory upgrade we got from this uh, expedition as well. Can't even use it. Well, not on this pet. Uh, and just a egg. Uh, we have 24 hours to wait on that. All right. All right. So. Uh, I can't remember what else I suggested we could do. You know what, I do need to go make a base here before we do any kind of weekend missionary. <laughs> because I would like to cement my position in this latest galaxy. 
Oh, we should have put our pet away. Oh, whoopsie doodle. So, first things first, we're going to warp somewhere that is our own, instead of being this uh, transport location that is going to come in from all of my saves. So let's find a three-star economy for this save to go to. It doesn't have to be very far away. I doubt very many people have been to this specific spot of this specific galaxy. We only have four or so saves to really worry about transporting over myself, so unlikely I'm going to hit the same region of space my, you know, copy my own saves. It would be interesting if all of the stars that you'd explored on any save showed up no matter what. That would be cool. happen sometimes as a bug but I haven't noticed that myself I'm very rarely in the same region of space uh, on my saves except when I'm farming derelicts and I'm, yeah Rumanawa our main system four planets prosperous at war all right looks like we got a lush over there not the best sky color oh it's noxious it's not even a lush this one might be. Yeah, but it's got active aggressive sentinels and activated copper. And we have a fourth planet hiding behind this desert. Let's go check that out before we hit the space station up. Again, this is not going to be a permanent uh, base, just to cement our location here in this galaxy. But, if we find something cool... Hmm, I don't trust the sky colors on those other planets, and it looks like we have orange water and maybe orange grass to deal with. But it does say flourishing planet with star bulb. Let's go take a peek at E-House 11. A uh, fugitive starship. That's not an attack, that's just somebody we can go hunt down. Can't tell what sky color it is. Uh, oh, it just flipped over. It looks like it's green with pink grass and orange water. Could be interesting if we don't have to be too close to the water or if there's a chromatic filter changing that water purple or something. Uh, it does not look like there's a screen now. No chromatic filter. No, no, no. Oh, well. Yeah, I do not think that I'm going to be too much of a fan of this place as a permanent location, but uh, it could be a lot worse. Yeah. So, land. Sorry, mushroom tree. We do have glowing purple bubble grass. That's pretty cool. Where we land right at night time? Yeah, 6 p.m. Okay. Wow, what a view. <laughs> uh, that is a screenshot. Yeah, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. I missed it. <laughs> we'll find a better one. Let's put down a base computer. And, ooh, look at that crash, der uh, uh, crash freighter over there. Okay. Uh, base computer. Oh, no, not what I wanted to do. I wanted to talk to it. Like, I didn't want to back out. Lame base, there we go. I still have not looked up what galaxy number this is, so we're just gonna call it Rumanawa Base. 
Uh, oh no, I'm not sure of myself on that anymore. I know it's Rumana. <laughs> Uh, okay. I think that's it. I'm going to add galaxy there so I know it's not just a procedurally generated uh, name for bases. And that should be all we need here. Okay, so let's try that loyalty thing out. I don't think we can get loyalty from the pet we just grabbed, but... Uh, and we already fed that pet, but let's check our loyalty on these things. 75% trust, that's what I meant, trust, not loyalty. 70%, uh, 70%, so let's call those two out and see if we can get them to go up in value. Oh, jeepers, that, that guy is huge, super huge. <laughs> Gently pat, give a treat. That's, that's monstrous. I must have modified that for size, because that is not the standard size. <laughs> uh, all right, let's check our creature companion register. And yeah, 75% trust. All right, let's call the other one in. And let's stop getting poisoned. There we go. Step away from that thing. Uh, this one I might have also modified. Yeah, that's pretty big. <laughs> That is a big worm. Gently pat and give a couple of treats too so you're full up. And there we go. And let's check you in the register. Yeah, they are all at 75% trust. So now I need to log in every day this week. No, you come back here. See, this is why I don't want them to be independent. Get over here, you giant worm. Oh, I'm in survival. I can't do that. <laughs> Gotta be careful with landing. Right, KJ? Alright, flying pet, where are you? You know, I am just gonna call you in again if you don't show up. Alright, alright. There, call that one in. Now we'll call this one in, and we will go for a ride in the sky. Oh wow, no wonder we couldn't get a hold of the guy. Look how fi far up he flew immediately. Nice crash freighter. Apparently we're going to take a look at that. <laughs> Alright, well, we got our companion modified. We have a base computer down in our new galaxy. We have all of our companions trusting us more than they did the day before. And that'll keep going up. These guys, I do need to lay an egg. I guess that's one more thing we could do, but uh, if we go, I think we can go into the companion register here without falling off. Yeah, nice. Uh, this guy here has a native climate of a scorched planet, so they can only lay eggs on a scorched planet. This guy here, can I not switch animals? Oh, they're all scorched. Uh, no, airless. Ooh, I have to go to airless planets for this guy. Interesting. And scorched for that guy as well. So, yeah, we'd have to go visit a specific kind of planet to get our eggs. And we're not going to have time to do that today. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Pets upgraded. Uh, I do not think I want a chance doing an emote while riding on the pet. I know that can lock some stuff out. So I'm not, not going to. I'm just going to say goodbye. <laughs> and until next time, everybody. Have a good time.